How old do you think I am? How old do you, based on how I look right now, what would you guess? Especially if you don't know me, or you've only seen a few videos, you don't know much about me. How old do you think I am? Get yourself a number in your head about what you think, how old I am. Uh, I'll give you the real number, I'm 50. Well, now technically I'm 49, I turned 50 in a few months, but I've been saying for the last year, year and a half, I'm basically 50, because I'm basically 50. Uh, I'm 49 and a half or, or more. And I'm gonna give you something, I'm gonna make a statement in a minute that if you get it, if you understand it and you're a man, it's gonna change your life, regardless of how old you are, if you're an older guy or a younger guy. Because if you're a younger guy, that means you're not an older guy yet. So all of you watch this video are either older men or will be older men at some point soon. And in a nutshell, that statement is this, and I mean this literally, and this is something I didn't really understand until just the last, I would say maybe five years of my life, now that I'm a truly older man. And that is, when you are an older man, but look younger, you have an edge in business and with women over every other type of man in the world there is. And I will be very, very specific about what I mean by that, but I mean that literally. Now before I give you the details on how this works, I'm gonna give you a few examples from a few events I've experienced just the last few months and some of the last few years, but recently in my life. I am Caleb Jones, this is Alpha Male 2.0. I make a multi six-figure international location independent income while dating multiple attractive women, and I teach men like you how to do the same thing. So. A few things that have happened to me very recently in my life. Two different men have said this to me in the past few weeks. Men that I have just recently met in various parts of the world. Talking to a guy a few weeks ago and had just met him, nice guy, we were working together, and um, I mentioned that I was 50 or about to turn 50. And he looks at me like this. He's like, you're, you're 49? I said, yeah. He said, I'm 45 and I look way older than you. And he was right. He looked way older than me. He had thinning hair, he had crappy skin, he just, he had wrinkles, he looked older. He looked like the typical 45 year old beta male dad. That is the second time that has happened in the last few weeks. I had another guy who said, you're, you're 50? You're almost 50? I'm, how old was he? He was 44, 43, early 40s. He's like, I'm 43 and I look like your dad. And he was right. This happens to me semi-regularly now when people find out how old I am. I will give you another example. Uh, something else that happened to me just recently, a few years ago, and this is one of my favorite stories. I've told this before because I'm very proud of it. After going through several years of improving my appearance in my early 40s, late 30s, early 40s, I lost some weight. I addressed my thinning hair. I fixed my teeth. I focused on my skin a little more. I focused on my fashion a little more. Um, various things, my posture, a bit, a bunch of things. And so just a few years ago, I was out on a first date with a woman who was my, basically my exact type, small, blonde hair, very hot. She was 22 or 23 years old, and she was sitting at a Starbucks. That's you know where I have most of my first dates. And when I enter the Starbucks and I follow my own dating rules, I want to be there two or three minutes after the woman arrives. She was already there, and she was sitting at one of the little tables, and she was looking away. And so I walked in, I sat in the seat across from her at the table, and when she was still looking away, and I said, hi. And she was like, oh, she turned around and looked at me, and the very first thing she said, she had this big eyes and with look of shock, the very first thing she said, and this is exactly what she said, she said, wow, you're really good looking. Now, it felt really good. Now, to be fair, and to be honest with you, I don't think, although I could be wrong, I don't think what she was saying was, I'm really good looking. I don't consider myself a really good looking guy. I consider myself a decent looking guy, which is what I tell you guys to do in terms of dating advice. You need to look at least decent for the rest of your life. You can't look like shit. You, you don't even wanna look average. You wanna look decent, at least for your age. Anyway, what I think she was saying was, because she knew how old I was, I told her before we met in real life, and she had seen pictures of me and things like that, but this is online dating as usual. But I think she, what she was really saying was, I was expecting an older man who looked like an older man, and instead you don't look old, and that makes me happy. I'm pretty sure that's what she was saying, because I don't look as old as I am. Another example, this happened uh, just a year or two ago, Pink Firefly, my wife and I, who also looks very young for her age, matter of fact, she, she looks younger for her age than I do, her and I were walking through, we were in Las Vegas, and we were walking through one of the big fancy resorts there, and it was a crowded you know, hallway with these big hallways in Vegas. If you've been to Vegas, you know what that is. 
and we were walking, just walking down, minding our own business, walking somewhere, and a guy came up to us, he was walking next to us, I think, he came up to us, and he literally said, this is exactly what he said, he goes, hey, I just need to tell you guys, you guys are the best looking couple in this entire resort. And we said, oh, thanks. I thought he was selling something, and he wasn't. He just like, I just had to tell you, and he left. So he wasn't selling anything, he wasn't full of shit, that's just how he felt. Not bad. Certainly not bad for a guy like me who's overweight. So even really not bad. Now, to be fair, when you're walking next to a really attractive woman like Pink Firefly, it kind of elevates your look a little bit. They call that the Spice Girls effect when you have like, you know, three or four semi-cute girls and they're all together, they all look hotter. So maybe there was some of that going on. But again, if I looked like an old man, if I looked like the typical, you know, beta male in his 40s, that guy would not have said those things. He would have complimented Pink Firefly, not me, most likely. I'll give you another example, and this one is pretty recent. This happened the last few months. I was having a discussion with one of my FBs in one of my other countries. And this one is, uh, again, young, hot, blonde chick who's really attractive and young. She was 21 years old. And we were having a discussion about her possibly becoming my, what I call my primary FB. It's a concept I haven't really talked about publicly yet. But anyway, we we're having a discussion. And similar to the talk in the OLTR talk, I was giving her all the negatives of what she would incur if she was my main or primary FB. My pri uh, FB, for those of you who don't know, means fuck buddy. Uh, I'm married, so I have FBs on the side, and she would be the number one primary FB. And I went through various negatives, and one of the negatives I gave her was, hey, you need to remember that although I don't look it, I'm an old man. I'm 50. You're 21. I am more than double your age. I could be older than your parents. Matter of fact, I'm older than her mom. I'm not older than her dad. I think her dad is two years older than me. And I'm older than her mom. I said, I could easily be your dad. And I said, you know, in 10 years, I'll be 60 and you'll be 31. You'll still be young and hot looking and I'm gonna be an old fucking man. I kept talking about how I'm an old man. I'm an old man. And instead of her going, oh yeah, that's a problem. I should think that through. She was getting turned on. She was like, her eyes, her pupils dilated. She started leaning forward. She reached over, started touching my leg. She's like, yeah. As I'm saying, I'm an old man. Now you might be thinking, well, maybe she has an old man fetish. Wrong. She was getting attracted because I'm an old man, but who doesn't look like an old man. And if you're a type two younger woman, that's your fantasy. Your fantasy is a much older man who doesn't look old. And so in me trying to tell her something negative, she was actually getting turned on and excited because I'm an old man, but I don't look like an old man. Okay, I could give you many, many, many more examples that have happened in my life just lately, and I'm sure to get more of these as I really enter my 50s, and I start telling people that I'm 51, 52, 55, and I still look more or less like this. I'm gonna get more of these examples. The bottom line is, and I'll say this again, when you are an older man, not a young man, when you're an older man, but you don't look older, you are an older man and people know you're an older man, but you look younger, you have an edge in both business and women over every other type of man there is. And I will explain in detail what I mean. Before I explain, there's something you should do. You should subscribe to this channel. You should click the dumb notification bell. You should like this video and you should leave a comment on this video and the comment can be whatever you want. I don't really care. The more interactivity I get on this content, the more content I will provide for you. So you're just helping yourself if you like this stuff. So. What do I mean by this? What do I mean by you have an edge over every other type of man? Well, if you just figure this out mathematically, if you have my type of man, which is older man who looks younger, okay, that's one type and that's the type I fall into. There's only three other types of men, right? There are younger men, men who are younger than me, men in their 20s and particularly early 30s. And as I've said many times, I consider that line at 35. So if you're a man under the age of 35, I consider you a young guy. You're a young guy if you're under 35. If you're over 35, you're an older guy. You may not be much older, but you are, you're not a young man anymore and you cross 35. Talked about that before. The second category beyond younger men is much older men than me, so real old men, guys in their 70s, 80s, 60s, guys who are clearly much older than me, guys who are legit old men. That's the second category. The third category are men who are my age, but look their age. And I'm surrounded by a lot of those men. I'm surrounded by, in my, in my business life, my Five Flags life, I'm surrounded by a lot of men who are around my age, mid to late 40s, early 50s, but they look old. 
They have the bald spot and the thinning hair and the wrinkles and the fucked up teeth and they walk with a stoop and they got that big beer belly that guys in their 40s get that belly that starts sticking out. Even if they're skinny or skinny fat guys, they get that belly, which I don't have, thank God. I'm overweight, but I don't have a belly, thank God. They look like older guys. They look their age. They look like, you know, the typical beta male next door dad. They look like, I've talked about this a lot. So in terms of those three categories of guys, I have an edge in business and with women, especially with women, over all three of those types. I'll take each one. So younger men, younger men, men who are much younger than me, in terms of my direct competition for women and or for business, are no competition for me. Even if they are gorgeous younger men, even if they are good looking guys with ripped six pack abs. And this is one of the first things I learned when I started, you know, 13, 14 years ago, when I started dating much younger women in non-monogamous relationships, I discovered, and I was shocked to discover this, that these women preferred dating me to the guys their age who were way better looking than me. I mean, there were guys who were going after the women I were dating, the younger girls I was dating at the time, who were not only good looking, but had six pack abs. They were fucking ripped. They had pictures of, on themselves on Instagram. They were ripped dudes. And I was getting these girls that they couldn't get. Now, at a minimum, what would happen is, these are non-monogamous relationships. So some of these girls I dated, some of these younger girls, would go hook up occasionally with these guys. But they would never date these guys. They would date me. And these guys tried. These guys would constantly say, why are you dating that fat, bald, older guy? Because I hadn't optimized my appearance back then. He sucks. Why are you dating him? You should date me. And almost never did these women go to those guys. So even back then, they weren't competition. And, and I'm gonna reiterate something, this was not sugar daddy game. I was not paying these women any money, any money, any money. And that just, that dynamic increased over time and now it's kind of crazy. So in terms of hot younger girls, when I'm in direct competition with younger men, which I rarely am, but in those scenarios where I am, I win every time. Because I'm an older guy, I have more SMV, but I don't look like an older guy. So if a young guy who is super gorgeous is competing with me on in terms of a woman or women, I'm gonna win just about every time. Not because I'm good looking, I don't consider myself good looking. Not because I'm skinny, do I look skinny to you? Do I look ripped to you? No, it's because I'm an older man who doesn't look like an older man. Same thing in business. If I go up on a contract for a consulting client or what have you, or whatever, if I'm for some reason in some sort of competition with some guys who are much younger than me, I'm gonna win most of the time because I'm older. I have more credibility, just the way it works. But I don't look older. There have been studies about how in business, guys tend to make more money if they're better looking and they tend to make more money if they're taller. So physical appearance does have a direct reflection upon your income as a man. Sometimes people just think this is a, a woman thing. Oh, well, good looking women make more money, but no, it's true with men too. Good looking and or taller. There's a lot of data to support this. Then you have much older men. You've got guys who are old men. Guys are 60s, 70s, 80s. I can tell you for a fact, in scenarios like sugar daddy scenarios, sugar daddy websites, dating scenarios, uh, I beat these men too. Even if, even if, and often they do, they are wealthier than me and or spend more money than me, and just about all these guys do. I've talked about this before. In the sugar daddy world, there's a lot of old men who look like old men who are throwing around a lot of money, but they can't get laid. Right, because they look like older men. They don't look good. Now, I'm not saying that some women will hook up with really disgusting old guys their 60s or 70s when they're paid a lot of money. That does happen sometimes. But think it through. If you're a hot 22-year-old girl and you have a decision to make between a sugar daddy who looks like me at my age or an old man who looks like an old man, who are you probably going to pick? Even if the old man offers you more money, and usually they will. I'm a frugal fuck. I don't like spending a lot of money. So I don't spend a lot of money even on a sugar daddy game. I don't, I don't do it. But what do you think? Even outside of that, outside of a sugar daddy scenario in a, just a normal dating scenario, let's say there was a really attractive woman who was 40, okay? And I wasn't married and I was going after a really attractive 40 year old for a, a potential long-term relationship. And she's got a choice between me and a guy who is 69 years old, or even if he looks younger for a 69 year old, but he's still clearly an old man and he has 10X my net worth. Who do you think she's gonna pick? Odds are she's gonna pick me. It's just the way it works. And you can make the argument maybe that in a business scenario, an old man who looks like an older man might beat out a guy like me who is older but doesn't look older. That could happen. Many, many scenarios it doesn't happen. And I could give you many examples in my business life where that didn't happen. Where I beat out men who were old men 
who looked like old men, and I won anyway because I'm an older man, but I don't look like an older man. And then lastly, this is kind of the obvious one. You really don't need to describe this one too much. Men who are my age, but look their age. Men who are 50, but they look like a 50-year-old guy. They have not taken care of themselves. They, <laughs> they just age like every other guy. They are not paying attention to their skin, their hair, their body posture, their fitness. They're not paying attention to work, working out. They're not paying attention to any of that shit. They're just typical, normal Western guys who just let it go. And in many scenarios, in many scenarios, these were formerly good-looking guys when they were young. There's a lot of men my age who look like shit, who used to be gorgeous alpha male 1.0s when they were in their 20s and early 30s. So way back 25 years ago, they were the shit. They were banging girls, they were really good-looking, they had strong game, but they got lazy or complacent, which is what Western men do. They got a girlfriend, usually, or a wife, or they settled down with a girlfriend long-term. They got monogamous which is stupid. They got one-itis, they let all that go, they started aging like shit, and then they, you know, they get a divorce, and they break up, and they go, oh crap, now what do I do? Now I look like a 50-year-old man, what do I do? So those men obviously are no real competition for me. They're not a competition for me at all, both in a business scenario and in a dating scenario. I want to reiterate to you how important it is as you age to look decent as you age. Because as I've demonstrated, if you're an older man, if you're an older man who looks younger, you're at the top of the heap. You are. Now, are there other SMV factors? Of course, if I, was, if I looked like this at this age but I had no money, that would be a slight problem. But I'm assuming if you're an older man, I've said this before, that you have a decent amount of income already. That's one of the advantages of being an older man is you probably make more money than when you were 22. It's perfectly acceptable for these young guys, these 22 year old guys to not have any money, they're just getting started, they have an excuse. When you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, you don't have that excuse, so you probably have some money. So I'm not saying that this is the only factor involved. I'm saying it's a huge factor, and it's a factor that is directly within your control. So you guys who are my age, and you don't look very young, you should start working on that right now and get that shit wrapped up as best as you possibly can. You guys who are more middle-aged, you guys maybe in your late 30s, early 40s, you need to start working on this now on your physical appearance looking younger before it becomes more difficult to look younger because you let too much time lapse. And you young guys, you guys are 20s, early 30s, should give a lot of thought to aging gracefully so you look good when you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s. Let me tell you something, you young guys. You are thinking right now, oh, Caleb's 50. I'm 25. That's 25 years from now. That's so long. I won't need to worry about that. That's so long from now. You will blink and you will be 50. You will blink and you will be 40. Time goes by really fucking fast. And you will not believe how fast your looks will catch up with you if you're not paying attention to all of your fitness, health, and anti-aging regimens. Very, very important. Now, this is not a video on how to do anti-aging. I have other videos on that. Matter of fact, if you click right here, you will get an entire video on my detailed skin regimen, which is something I do every morning and every night, which is one of the biggest reasons I don't look very old. I have a very detailed skin regimen I've been doing since I was 35. And again, I was 35. This is before I started getting old. So I started early. This is what you should do. There are a lot of other things you can do that I've discussed in my other content. I'll rattle off a quick list right now. Uh, Focus on your sleep. Get plenty of sleep. At least seven hours of sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, you will age faster. Water intake. Drink lots of water. I said water, not coffee, not milk, not juice, not Gatorade, not beer. Water. Water or tea. Tea counts. Tea is okay. Ideally non-caffeinated tea. Water or non-caffeinated tea. Drink a lot. Exercise. Daily cardio and particularly resistance training exercise. Lifting weights. Okay, that improves your posture. So you don't look like an old man, you don't walk funny. Walking with a strong posture, focusing on this. There are things I do every morning to maintain my posture. I stand against a wall for five minutes as part of my stretching routine to remind my body to stand up straight. Because most guys, when they hit their 40s, they walk with this little stoop because they're not paying attention to their posture. Stupid. TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, maximizing your testosterone. I have the testosterone of an 18-year-old man. That's why I don't act like an old man. I have the energy of an 18-year-old man. All my hormones are optimized at all times. I get blood tests all the time. I stay on top of these things. Very important. Matter of fact, if you want more detail on these things, you can join the SMIC program at joinsmic.com. That is my audio training and mentorship program. We talk about a lot of these topics 
A lot of audio trainings there on these topics, plus you work with me directly twice a month. Check it out, it's very inexpensive. Other things, human growth hormone. When you get a little older, I would say wait till you're about 45 to start dabbling in that, but I've started dabbling in that. I take a human growth hormone peptide most nights of the week, and very, very soon I will start with real human growth hormone. Not much, just a little bit, but I'm gonna start with that in addition to my TRT to reduce the aging effects on me as I age. Stress, it's another thing. You're all stressed out, especially you fucking Americans. You're all stressed out about your economy and politics and shit. You're mad all the time. Stress ages you. Stress creates wrinkles. Stress fucks up your skin. Stress fucks up your posture. Stress fucks up your health. I don't stress. I just don't. I don't get mad. I'm outcome independent. I don't care. I just don't give a fuck. Not caring equals less stress, which equals more youthful appearance. Another thing is cosmetic procedures. You may have to do some of that stuff as you age. I have fake hair. I used to be balding, I'm not anymore, because I have fake hair, as I've talked about many times on my articles and YouTube channels. I got two or three YouTube videos about this. Address these things. I fixed my teeth. My teeth were a little fucked up in the front, I addressed that. I get Botox a little bit occasionally. I haven't had Botox in a long time. Um, I'm way past due on it, but I, get a I don't get very much. I don't get a whole bunch of Botox so I can't move my face. That's stupid. But I do get a little bit around the edges here for the wrinkles, it does help, it helps a lot. And you don't need that much. So co some cosmetic procedures might make sense for you. If you're much older and you have real wrinkles, you might wanna consider a little facelift, a little lift. If you're older and have a lot of wrinkles, I would never do that because I'm too young. But I promise you, down the road, as I get older, 50s, 60s, 70s, I'm getting work done. If I need to get a facelift, I'm fucking getting one. I'm not gonna go, oh, that's gay, I'm gonna do it. No, I'm doing it. I want to look young because I want an edge over every other man in any scenario I'm in, and I want to maintain that edge for as long as I possibly can. Now, here's the biggest thing. I promised this at the beginning of the video. The biggest thing, the biggest reason why I don't look as old as I am. Now, there are a lot of reasons. I just listed a bunch, plus a bunch of other ones I haven't listed. I do a lot of things to make sure that I age very well and that I look young for as long as I possibly can. But I think the number one reason I don't look 50 I'm pretty sure is because, based on all the research I've done, there's three things that I've never done. I don't drink alcohol. I've never been drunk in my entire life. I've had a little, I've had sips of alcohol at various points throughout my life. I've never been drunk. I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol, number one. Number two, I don't smoke anything. I've never smoked cigarettes. I don't smoke weed. I've never smoked weed. I don't smoke a thing. I tried weed one time and I coughed and I said, thank you very much. That was at about 10, 15 years ago. So I've never smoked anything. Number three, drugs. I don't do drugs. I've never done drugs. I'm a libertarian. I think all drugs should be legal. So politically, I think if you want to do drugs, go ahead. But in terms of lifestyle, if you don't drink, don't smoke, and never have done any drugs, you'll have much better odds of looking like this when you're 50. I have a lot of buddies who are, you know, decently good guys and they're decently healthy, but they're like most men, they've been drinking most of their lives and are playing around with drugs most of their lives and are smoking weed most of their lives. And so they look way, way, way older. If you want a stark celebrity example of this, look at Tom Cruise and look at Jean-Claude Van Damme. You're gonna see two radically different faces and, the only, and they're about the same age. The only difference is Jean-Claude Van Damme was doing a lot of drugs for most of his life. That's what happens. So obviously if you're already 50 and you've been doing drugs or smoking or drinking your whole life, I can't really help you. But for you younger guys, you might wanna consider that. The number one thing that will make you age gracefully and look young for a long time is stay off the booze, stay off the drugs, stay off the smoking, including weed. Don't fall in this trap of, well, cigarettes are bad, but weed is okay. I don't know where the fuck people got this. We are still smoking smoke when you're smoking weed. It will age you. It'll age you on numerous levels, not just externally, but also internally. And I realize that's easier said than done. I realize that drinking and drugs and smoking is a big part of many of your lives. I'm just telling you what works and what'll keep you looking young for a long time. I've never been drunk. I've never smoked anything. I've never done drugs. When I say don't do drugs, I mean no drugs, including coffee, which is a drug. Caffeine, I don't do any drugs ever, ever, never, ever. I don't want to, and I probably never will. That's just me, I offer that to you. If you want some more detail on the testosterone regimen that I'm doing, you can click this video right here. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Have fun, bye.